As part of the transition to the IVDR and MDR, notified bodies such as BSI must submit all certificate information. Any subsequent changes to those certificates, refusals, and other key documents such as SSCPs to the new EU database, Udemet. This change means we have updated some of our processes and procedures to remain compliant and interact efficiently with Udemet. Udemed, which stands for European Database for Medical Devices, is the IT system with its legal basis in the MDR and IVDR and was developed by the EU Commission. It aims to enhance overall transparency, including better access to information about medical devices for the public, the healthcare professionals, the authorities, and enhance coordination between the different member states in the EU. The system will comprise six modules related to actor registration, unique device identification and device registration, notified bodies and certificates, clinical investigations and performance studies, vigilance and post-market surveillance, and market surveillance. Some of these modules are now available for voluntary use and will become mandatory over the next few years. We are making changes to both internal and external processes. By external, I mean client-facing documents such as our certificates and client-facing IT systems such as our portal, which our clients use to submit technical documentation and vigilance reports. The BSI portal will have additional functionality to allow the submission of key documents such as SSCPs, PSURs, and allow them to feed into our updated internal systems. For our IVDR and MDR certificates, we will need to update the certificate revision number each time we change the certificate instead of just at renewals. Our certificates will no longer include supplementary information on critical subcontractors and crucial suppliers to allay any confidentiality concerns. Instead, BSI will maintain this information internally. In addition, you will no longer receive mock certificates for review and approval prior to the certification step. We will instead issue a certificate content approval document and ask the clients to confirm that the content that will appear on the final certificate is accurate. A significant aim of Udemed is to ensure transparency for the patient, the healthcare professionals, industry, and authorities. And as such, once BSI submits information to Udemed, certain aspects will be in the public domain.